Namaste. I'm Dr. Robert. And today on 5-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert, my subject is Dina Acharya, Basic Recommendations. So Dina Acharya, in case you've forgotten, is your daily routine, your basic daily routine. And your basic daily routine should, uh, should, should reflect, in general, a certain degree of regularity. Now, by saying that, that, it doesn't mean that every day has to be identical, but it does mean there needs to be periodicity in what you do. Let's hope that you work out on a regular basis. We certainly want you to be doing something like walking or, or, or doing some other kind of very uh, uh, simple, not too excessive, and uh, definitely not um, uh, uh, overexerting. Uh, yourself, it needs to be done every day, even if it's just walking, even if it's only half an hour. But two or three times a week, you need to be doing something more. You need to be exerting yourself further. So in that case, the dinacharya from one uh, the day you're having your workout is going to be different from the day before and the day after. So we should be looking really at the dinacharya over a period of a week, let's say. Over and over this period, the, whatever the periodicity is that you're going to be repeating, perhaps you're someone who is a serious Vaishnava and you organize things around the Paksha, the fortnight instead of the week. That's fine, also. But it, it, at least you should have an idea of what the period is going to be and what the periodicity is going to be during that period, and you should continue following it accordingly. Uh, which, uh, of course, also reply, applies to that one day a week that you should be limiting your food intake at some point. So you, you may not be doing that every day, but at least one day a week you should be scheduling that in as well. So when we talk about Dinacharya, it's not just the day, but there are certain days, uh, certain things that one needs to do every day, no matter uh, whether you're working out or you're not working out. One is you should be going to sleep at the same time and getting up at the same time. Yes, obviously, sometimes you're going to violate that, and it, this, is, this is the point of Dinacharya. You should be limiting your violations to about one day a week. Just as you are, let's say, being more restrictive maybe with your food one day a week, you can be less restrictive with your food or your sleep or whatever one day a week. Otherwise, you want to have an expectation on the part of your body that you're going to get up at the same time and go to sleep at the same time, and that you're going to eat at the same time, and that you're going to meditate and do your Tai Chi or yoga or whatever, and your exercise at more or less the same time, because then your body gets into the habit of expecting that, it prepares itself, and that is a, a, an efficient way to employ your body. So the Dinacharya implies that you have studied yourself to some reasonable degree. And so you will be able to know for yourself what is the best time of day for you to be eating more and the best time for you to be eating less, the time that is optimal for you according to your, your, your interest in doing it, your ability to do it, and how the rest of your life is scheduled as to when you're going to be able to go out and walk or work out or uh, meditate or whatever it is. So yes, it is ideal to be meditating at dawn and dusk, but the ideal is one thing and practical and real is another thing. Most important is you get in your meditation and your exercise and your, uh, at times when you're not eating, for example, you schedule it all in, even if it is not exactly as it says in the text that it needs to be done at specific moments, it has to fit into your lifetime. So fit it into your lifetime. Fit it into your schedule and make it a point to keep doing this every day, at least six or seven days of the week, for at least two months at a time. You can always revisit, even after one month, but better wait for two months. Let, it, let your body really get adapted to it. And then if you want to make some changes and let another couple of months go by and keep Keep experimenting. There will be, especially if you live in a place where the seasons dramatically differ from one another, you may find your dinacharya is going to differ 
in summer from winter or in the barsat, the rainy season from the dry season. Um, so allow that to be there also. But at all times, understand that the reason you're doing this dinacharya is to make your organism get into the habit of behaving in a healthy way. And whatever, it, it, whatever you can do to facilitate that is going to benefit you and will benefit your dinacharya. This is Dr. Robert wishing everyone a good day.